last couple of days brought the ankle and it seemed like you had definitely had some pep in your step early. And it seemed like you were just a little bit juiced. Like, why was that? Uh, I mean, ankle was swollen over the last couple of days, but you know, uh, a lot of ice line treatment. Swelling went down. Uh, started feeling a lot better. Not quite as good as the right one, but uh, felt well enough to go out there and play. And uh, you know, I've been off for three days, so um, you know, I don't like missing games. So I was excited to uh, get back out there with the team and play today. Joe has mentioned a couple times to us recently about your open mindedness to where he is is to understand that every night is going to be different. Now. Maybe they don't need you to score as much as other things. How do you, like, as the game's unfolding, kind of take that in and, and decide what the game needs from you? Uh, I just got to, you know, do a good job of reading the game as it goes. Uh, you know, seeing different coverages on different nights. Uh, you know, and a lot of times, you know, if I'm a ball handler and they're blitzing or, or doubling and trapping the ball screen, you know, maybe that night I just need to continue um, bringing the ball up. So, you know, when they double, I throw it over the top and keep creating advantages. And, you know, sometimes that might not always end up in me scoring 30, but that's going to give us the best chance to win that night. And, uh, you know, got to be willing to accept that, you know, that's what you have to do that night. Isn't it still? Pretty early. Um, but what has impressed you most about playing alongside Drew, and how much does having him on the roster just change things for you guys heading forward to your ultimate goal? Yeah, uh, he just gives us another weapon. He's just so dynamic. Um, you know, it's another guy out there that can you know dribble, shoot, and pass the ball, right, and uh, create for himself and teammates. He can shoot the ball, um, and on defense, right, he's one of the best defenders in the league, and he has been for a long time. Now. You know, guard the best player, can guard the biggest player, um, can guard the worst player and roam around and, you know, help everybody else out. Um, so, you know, he just does it all. He also an example of success looks different every night. That it doesn't always have to be about him. Yeah. Um, another guy that, right, you know, he averaged 20 points a game, you know, last year when he was in Milwaukee. He was, uh, you know, second scoring option. And now, uh, you know, I'm... Don't know exactly, but I'm sure his scoring is down. And uh, another guy that's just sacrificing uh, to be on a really good team and uh, try to accomplish something special. Usually in the first quarter, you're hitting the bench and Jalen's running the second initially, but that switch tonight, and, and then you kind of started going off offensively. You had like that big layup where you're hanging in the air, you got the big dunk on Tice. What did you want to do in that moment to keep yourself going and establish the force in the game? Yeah, I think it was just because JB got those quick two fouls. Um, so. Joe kind of switched up in that moment. Um, and I just found some opportunities to be aggressive and, and, and got some plays that uh, kind of just got me going up. You're playing on a bad ankle. You keep getting fouled on the landing. Huh? What were you thinking when you went down? This is some bullshit. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it was taped up well, and it was just a small tweak. So, uh, you know, I was able to keep playing and, you know, uh, tough line up there. Jason, there's been a lot of discussion about the number of threes this team takes, the number of threes you take over the course of the season. You guys are slightly over 50% the last two games on three-pointers. Incredible. Like, what's what's the sort of general philosophy on the team and your philosophy, no matter what the outside choice is? Yeah, I think we just played our strengths. Uh, you know, nine times out of ten, everybody on the floor can space the floor and shoot and no matter if we're shooting 50% or 20%, um, we always want to create the advantage and find the open man. Um, I think that's what makes us so dynamic that everybody space the floor. So it's hard to guard us one-on-one -on -one and you know, help. We always got shooters around. And, um, it's all about taking the right shots. We play 82 games. You know, some nights we're going to be very hot. Some nights you just miss shots. Uh, but you know, if you're taking the right shots, we, we always look at Last question, Jason. Talk about the uh, the drop dribble dunk that you had. Um, you you lead the game really well. I feel like when you're young, you always get told like players trying to get out of that corner, and you really you were good at playing in the corner and you know having patience and then making reads out of there. Because you know a lot of times, a lot of players when when they're young, they want to get the ball out of the corner. You know, you make reads to get to the drop too as well. So, yep, just talking about that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, just face to the corner. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick, decisive move, knowing that they was probably going to send somebody over to come double. Uh, and, you know, I drove baseline, jumped early, and I you know, just took a spin move and seen my old teammate Tyson. The rest was history. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.